So once again, wood apple. We're obviously not the only things that eat wood apple, and elephants aren't either. If the elephant ate it, this thing will all be gone. But if you look closely on this, you can see these tiny teeth marks all over. This is giant squirrel, the Tufa macrora, also known as a grizzly squirrel in Sri Lanka. It's fairly common, about roughly a foot in length, plus the tail. Really bushy, really sweet, but they love wood apples too. As you can see, they've gone to town on it. Hopefully we see one. Okay, so over here, we've got some deer tracks too. This tracks here that you can see almost heart shaped here. Some over here too. Spotted deer. You can tell that pretty much from the size and the shape as well. But spotted deer is the most common species of deer we get out here. Um, in the nights we hear them making their alarm call, which is a very high pitched bark, it indicates the presence of a predator. Um, I haven't seen any leopard tracks today, but normally that's what they call for. So let's keep looking. Let's see if we can find any tracks. Okay, another quick thing I'd like to teach you. We're coming towards the end of our walk now, but something interesting to know is a tree to clean your teeth. This. This is Salvadora persica, commonly known as the toothbrush tree. It's referred to in the Bible as well as the mustard tree, but easy to identify if I stand back. You can see the leaves almost look like they're drooping down. It looks like a very lazy tree. But farmers in rural areas of, of most of Asia where this tree is found, they've been chewing the twigs. So I'm not going to break it here because I don't have a reason to, but you'll break open a stem like this, and inside it's very fibrous and filled with antimicrobial properties. So it's very good for cleaning out the teeth and believed to prevent gum cancer as well. Uh -huh. So yeah, if you're lost in the bush, you know how to keep your teeth clean.